Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. As you can hear, my dog's still barking. Have not caught those drug dealers. Someday soon, though, the police will leave. But for Nip, regardless of the police, hey, I got Peony. I believe it's Peona. I believe someone said it's pronounced Peona. Anyway, I'm going to be using her today. Um, show her off a little bit, mainly because... Um, I just wanted to use the new unit I got, and I'm going to use it in the only content that I really only ever need light units for. It is the Mercury Gauntlet. Uh, it's right up there. But before we actually do that, let me just do a quick rundown of what she does. Um, she's also at 49 instead of 50, because I'm still not 100% sure if I want to use some toilet paper on uh, Chrom or not. I'm still kind of debating it, but if maybe for the co-op ability, but you know, neither here nor there. Anyway, this is what she has. Flower of Joy. It deals light damage to the target and inflicts paralyze. Activates skill shift the attack if the attack connects. Phase 2 adds an additional 10% increases the user defense for 10 seconds. While phase 3 adds an additional 10% and increases the entire team strength for 10 seconds. You got Gentle Dream. Deals slight damage to the enemies in a line and increases the entire team strength by 10% and attack rate by 10% and then 10 se for, for 10 seconds. Paralyzed foes take extra damage. She has light damage 20%. Every single light unit on me has 20% more attack. De does 20% more damage. Her defense is 6% uh, up. Uh, Aid of the Fairies. Grant the entire team a life shield at the start of quest. Using Gentle Dream grants the user an empowering dream effect. When this uh, effect is activated, next force strike will deal 40%, will fill 40% of skill gauges for each team member initial skill, which is just skill 1, and grant one of the following effects, all team members for 10 seconds, none of which, none of which will stack, increase strength by 10%, increase attack rate by 10%, defense by 20%, adds 5% to shadow resistance, increase movement speed by 5%, the Empowered Dream cannot stack, it will be consumed on use, and will not activate again for 20 seconds after activation. Okay. And she has Paralyzed Punisher. Alright, let's go in. And the reason I'm doing Mercury Gauntlet is because I still need to do it. In terms of what you use light units in general, it's either this or High Zordiarc, which I still have never done High Zordiarc because there's absolutely no reason for me to do because Kai gives me all my dark weapons and is easier than High Zordiarc. But I did ask Lerp at least how would she, Peony, Peona, do in High Zordiarc? And let me get his statements real quick. It goes... I mean, I guess she could work. Only real requirement now is one Yudin, which is Gala, the Gala Prince, and enough defense slash HP to survive. As for how viable, for sure, I don't know. There isn't much point to run uh, High Zordiarc anymore. Gala Luka's spot is flexible and can be taken by anyone. But so is the second Gala Uiden. The problem with High Zordiac is kind of is that it's a DPS rates in the first place, more so than most other High Dragon Trials. I said, does she have, does Peona have bad DPS? Um, nah, she has the highest light DPS at the moment, and the reason it's such a DPS race is that he spams his HP check constantly, which is the only one that does it. Um, he didn't say that, I'm just assuming. Those, I don't remember all the other ones constantly doing their HP check. Um, she does have sk uh, low skill modifiers though, um, but that's not the same as low DPS. Uh, Peony is a bit of a support mix with both skills and her unique to get her at the season two, skill two. She also charges other character skills, so she helps other strong characters like Galaluka and Mitsu do more damage, and also has a strong co-op ability. So even if she's not meta, you would still use her in a team for that. You'd be a nice character to have for that co-op ability alone. Um, Light's biggest issue at the moment is there isn't anything worth doing at the moment because Kai basically killed the reason to do High Zordiac. Alright, now let's go into the Mercury Gauntlet. Nope, wrong one. This is the one I've done least, I think? No. Water's my least. Oh, that's because my wind team sucks. Oh, let's go with this. Settings. All right, let's do it. From the little bit I've used of her, I really like her so far. I just wish that there was a more stuff I could use her on, to be honest. There's just not a lot of stuff that requires light. 
And light's not crazily broken like shadow where you can just use it anywhere, to be honest. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna try and stay away from them. Be over here. We will be victorious. Oh, I should use this Rising to make everyone stronger. Doing fine. Doing one perfectly fine. Kind of gonna try and. There we go. And then this. And then now I should. There we go. Uh, we're not gonna win in 30 seconds. We should. There we go. After I used that four strike that charged it up, we were able to beat it pretty, pretty fast. It was just kind of getting there. So was it a good dream? Hello. It was a good dream. Thank you. I honestly don't know how far this I can go. I should honestly replace the healer. I don't think she really has a Hildegard. I don't really think she's really used. A healer is really used in any um, a gauntlet early on. Later on when he starts dealing a crazy amount of damage, yeah, for sure. But early on, no real reason, I think. Go here. Rising circlet. Time to end this nightmare. Yeah. We will bring about peace. Well, I, don't know. I like her. I like to be fair, I like a lot of caster units. And she seems weird um, she seems balanced, which is actually kinda nice compared to everything else. A lot of people, I think, were kind of expecting a, um, a similar to a Gala Cleo, but she doesn't have what Gala Cleo has, which is just pure crazy strength um, in her uh, skills. That is, she has pure crazy strength in general. But... Jesus. Okay, he's down. I do think she's really good. There's no doubt in my mind that she's an extremely good character, and she, as Lurp said, she's currently the highest DPS for light at the moment. Um, does that mean go run out and get her right away? Mm, for me, it's enough to kind of go like, yeah, that sounds alright. Um, definitely for me, as someone who has a lot of the limited light units, the only unit I'm really missing is Galaluka, and if I did, then I think my light team would be basically done and complete but yeah i like the the buff she does you can really the, the thing that's cool about a character is when you can tell when their stuff activates and it's immediately making a difference which is what you get with her is that the second she activates her force strike everyone does so much better it's insane there we go get in here come on boom 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 hit him up hit him up hit him up paralyze this is our chance. Stay focused. Perfect. I'm gonna try not using uh, uh I'm gonna end up using the dragon. There we go. Just to confirm that I kill this thing. There you go, down he goes. Not bad. Belly belly belly. And to be fair, we are still super early on. So was it a good dream? My light team de general, in general, is pretty lacking, I'll say, though. They don't really have any of their weapons. They don't really have anything. I just have, like, literally no motivation to give my light units better weapons. I don't know what it's about. Maybe it's the thing with light. And now if it seems like Agido, light is getting the... Uh, light is the one to get their Agido last. So it's kind of like... Light's gonna be forever stuck in this really weird place. Which is a shame. We will bring about peace. It'd be a, I really think that they need to do something with light, but the problem is, is that, like, what? What do you do? The answer is... Mm -hmm. If I knew what to, what to do to fit, help fix light... Um, and to be fair, I don't think light really needs fixing. It's just that, compared to Shadow, <laughs> maybe it's just because Shadow is so stupid strong, it makes it... Oh, wait. I think I almost knocked us out completely on that one. I, I got so lost in talking about light that I completely forgot to beat this guy up. And he almost killed me for it. Nice clap clap clap. So was it a good dream? Yeah, good dream. Alright, let's do one more and then we'll call it. But yeah, I wish there was some more stuff I could use 
light units on. I think the new Astro Raid I can actually use them on, though. If I remember correctly. I don't know. Tap, 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 tap. Activate this. Give everyone a good old strength boost. So far, so good, I'll say. Paralyzed. Hit me with a big belly burst. There we go. Activate that. Activate the force strike. Go, dragon. Yeah, with all that paralyzed punishing on him. I would use a uh, Diokuten, I think is his name is. It's the rat dragon. Um, but she, they're only like. They're no unbind at all, so didn't feel like using them. But um, I believe that is the better dragon to go over, but I don't have that. But I had a max unbind Phoenix Coruscant because of all my pulling. So, was it a good dream? Yeah, it was alright. It was a good dream. But yeah, that's the end of today's video. Was that the drug dealer running away? I sure the hell hope not. Anyway, <laughs> with that spooky sound from coming outside and known police activity, I think that's the end of today's video. Before it ends with someone, a gun going off in the air. Yesterday, it happened super late at night after I was done recording, there was a cat crazy screaming as if like he was being fought by something. And it was really scary because it woke up all the dogs I and I was like, the what the hell is going on here? Uh, before we go, I did want to show off one other thing actually. I'm just gonna collect this stuff real quick. Thank you. But yeah, that's it. I really like Piona. Piona. I like her look. I like her the way she fights. I just wish there was actually more stuff to use my light dudes on that wasn't just High Zordiac at the moment or the Mercury Gauntlet. Oh, look at that. That's a great walking together. Hope you have another fun day today. So when Trash Lion said, "Don't talk to me or my son ever again," I said they kind of look like the Pitter Patter Pop peace. characters. <laughs> that's what they look like to me the in there. Uh, when they strut around, they fly strut. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like. Tell me how you're enjoying. I think I'm going to do a Chrome video. Still not 100% sure. I'll probably end up doing one. Showed the big boy damage he does. But until this point, it's now just waiting for Tiki. So until next time, everyone, have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hope my brother's okay. Feeling unstoppable. Time to find a nice spot to kick back. I wish I could be helpful.